Hello my friends, this is Austrian Stacker. I hope you're all doing very well. Three of you ask about a video about the 25 shilling silver coins and this is what I'm going to show you in a second. Stay tuned. So my friends, as you know, the old currency we had here in Austria before we got the worthless euro was the Austrian shilling. Not to be confused with other currencies called shilling. Austrian shilling is uh, written as CH. Uh, most of the other currencies uh, with the same name are written SH. So as said, some of you ask for a video about the shilling coins. So this is what I'm going to talk about today. First, some theoretical stuff, and then I will show you the coins. And to keep the video short and interesting, um, I will put pictures of all 19 different coins uh, in the video at the end, at the end of the video. Um, so if you're not interested in that, you can... No, you are interested in that, so please watch it till the end. <laughs> but I will add photos of all 19 different 25 shilling commemorative coins the end of the video. So some theoretical things about the 25 shilling coins. As already said, there were 19 different commemorative coins minted between 1955 and 1973. They all have the same silver content. They all have 80% silver and 20% copper. Their weight is 13 grams. So the fine silver weight is 10.4 grams. The mintages of these coins are another very interesting thing. Um, there are some uh, with a very high mintage of like 5 million pieces, uh, 2.5 million pieces. The lowest mintage uh, of, of all the coins uh, is 1.3 million pieces. No, actually 1.2 million pieces, sorry. And as said, the mintage of the of the coins goes up to five more than 5 million. And the proof coins were very limited. So some of them had a mintage of just 500 pieces, uh, another one of 900 pieces. Usually they have a mintage uh, between uh, 1,500 and 5,000 pieces. But the last few coins uh, had a very high mintage, especially the last four coins with more than 100,000 up to 196,000 uh, coins. So the old proof coins, if it, high value because of the low mintage the older ones um not really so the older ones you can buy for for the silver price because with a mintage of two hundred thousand uh and uh yeah, they uh, and they were minted 1973 so they are not so hard to get and not so interesting for collectors but the older ones for example the ones with a mintage of 500 like this one this one has got a mintage of uh, the proof coin has a mintage of 500. So if you have this in proof quality, then it's worth a little bit. So what I have here is all the 19 different coins, but I want to start with the obverse of the coin because there have been three different ones. As you can see here, this is the only coin, Erzherzog Johann, Archduke Johann. This is the only coin from 1959 um, with this obverse. And then you have two different ones. You have this one with the coat of arms uh, of all nine federal states of the Republic of Austria. and the coat of arms of the Republic of Austria. So 
So these are the three different versions. Actually, there would be 20 coins available instead of 19, uh, but one is an error coin and I didn't manage to get this error coin now because there was one coin minted with the wrong uh, uppers. And unfortunately, I did not manage to get one of those. So I have 19 were officially um, released and circulated. Uh, the one error coin, I did not manage to get one yet. But this, as you can see, are the three different verses. As said, I will put pictures of all the different coins at the end of the video. So now I have here a full set of all 19 coins. Um, what's very interesting is that um, on all the coins actually there are either famous people or famous events, important events, like referendums when federal states decided to become uh, a part of the Republic of Austria, for example. But let's start with the famous people. We have Karl Michael Zierer. Here you have Franz Leher, the famous composer. Here you have Franz Grillparzer, poem. You have Max Reinhardt, the famous Max Reinhardt seminar, uh, acting school here in, in Vienna. Um, has the Anna be called after Max Reinhardt? You have Anton Bruckner, another famous composer. You have Peter Rosecker, another poem and writer. He's famous for his uh, for writing in uh, our local dialect. And here you have Mr. Brechtel, the founder of the Technical High School. Vienna. Of course, Maria Theresa. Ferdinand Raimund. And here you have one commemorative coin for a special day. This was 1955. This was actually when the the theater in, in Vienna uh, yeah, started again after they were closed during the Second World War. And this is to remember the day when you could go to the theater again after Second World War. Of course, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. This is, by the way, one of my favorite coins. I have a lot of them. All of these coins are just Mozart coins. So I really like them. Then you have Karl Auer Welsbach. So a lot of people who play an important role in the history of Austria. Prince Eugen. I don't know how you would call him in English. Prince, Prince Eugene <laughs> of Savoyan. Who saved us uh, from the Turks. Actually, he's the guy sent them back home. Then you have 1771 uh, Vienna Stock Exchange. Archduke Johann. This is actually the coin with the lowest mintage in the proof version. Uh, Lucas von Hildebrand, actually an architect who designed the Belvedere Palace. And then you have Maria Zell, which is a very important place for all pilgrims. So thousands of pilgrims are going there every year. Founded 1157. This was the 800 years commemorative coin.
and then you have 40 years of Burgenland um, after the Second World War there was a referendum um, uh, sorry after the First World War there was a referendum uh, and the state of Burgenland decided to become a part of Austria a decision had to be made either they go with Hungary or with Austria and they decided to go with Austria and here something similar this is the commemorative coin for the referendum in Corinthia, Kärnten, one of our federal states. They also decided to become a part of Austria. So these are all 1925 shilling coins. Thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in it, as said, I will put pictures of all 19 different coins um, at the end of the video so you can watch them all if you want and the reason why I'm stacking these 25 shilling coins quite heavily is um, if they are not in a good condition you can buy them for spot actually which is the cheapest way um, to to get silver here in Austria and of course you need to know where to get them so I would check out uh, yeah the dealers, uh, sometimes they have good offers, also pawn shops uh, and, and yeah, uh, silver refineries. So check out uh, the sources and a, in a, lot of, a lot of times there are uh, good offers and you can get them for a spot or close to spot. And this is why I bought a lot of these coins recently because they are much cheaper than bullion because you know, in bullion there's high premiums at the moment. And you could buy these beautiful coins actually close to spot. Not all of them, but, but some of them. Um, and this is the reason why I'm stacking them quite heavily. Um, especially if they are not in, in the best condition, like this one, for example. So you really just pay the silver content. And you can actually... It, it's, if, if you buy meat, for example, you just, you just tell the quantity you want. And as said, close to spot. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.